Summer's the time for family gatherings and celebrations, and just in time for National Dairy Month, James Beard award-winning celebrity chef Karen Akunowitz is teaming up with Wisconsin Cheese to share some new recipes for the perfect summer celebration. Now, Chef Karen is uh, chef and owner of the Fox and Knife in Boston, once honored as one of the best new restaurants in America, also a fan favorite on Bravo's Top Chef, and a judge on the Food Network's Beat Bobby Flay and a competitor on the Food Network's Tournament of Champions. So basically, Chef, you know your way around the kitchen. We're thrilled to have you here today to share your summer party menu. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. So share the, uh, the recipe you have for us for a great summer party. Well, every great summer party starts with great food. So for me, I'm always using cheese from Wisconsin. It's the state of cheese and it wins more awards for their cheese than any other state or country. It is the key and the star ingredient in so many of my recipes and dishes. So what favorites do you have for maybe a brunch or party menu? Okay, so for a brunch or to start off a party, I love a baked provolone in puff pastry. I take Burnett Dairy smoked provolone and I tuck it into puff pastry. I brush it with a little bit of egg wash and I bake it for 30 minutes. It's so simple and everybody loves it. It's ooey gooey and delicious. Oh my gosh, it looks the so The best cheese in the world. Yeah. So good. The best cheese in the world is made in Wisconsin. And the cheesemakers are so serious about their craft. They have the only master cheesemaker program outside of Europe. And it takes 13 years to become a master cheesemaker. I didn't know that's very cool. So what is on your menu <laughs> for lunch? So for lunch, one of my go-tos is a grilled feta niçoise salad. Lots of vegetables, chicken, and spices. But what I love to do is take Odyssey feta, which is made from cow's milk. I pop it on the grill, and I char it so it's a little bit smoky and a little bit soft. And I put that right on top of the grilled niçoise salad. Because it's cow's milk for the feta, it's tangy and briny, but it's a little bit smoother, a little bit creamier, and absolutely delicious. And Wisconsin crafts half of the nation's specialty cheese, so it's basically a world of cheese from just one state. Well, putting it on the grill, I love that. I wouldn't have thought of that. What about a unique <laughs> dish that yep. always has your guests talking? Okay, so I'm gonna share, just between you and I, I'm gonna share one of my showstopper dishes. This is a roasted rainbow beet salad with pistachios and greens, and I top it with tons of Crave Brothers Farmstead fresh mozzarella. Now, here's a pro tip about mozzarella. You want to eat it almost as soon as it's been made because Wisconsin is in the middle of the state. Whether you're on the East Coast like me or whether you're on the West Coast, you are getting your mozzarella as fresh as possible. All right, that sounds good. Now, finally, what's for dessert? Okay, so for dessert, I'm a savory chef. I'm not a pastry chef, but everyone has to have one great dessert recipe up their sleeve. And for me, it's a berry ricotta parfait. So I use Belgioso ricotta con latte. Um, it's sweet, it's a creamy, and you get all of the flavors of a berry pie in a super simple dessert. Wisconsin makes more than 600 types of cheeses. So whether it's a sweet preparation like this or whether it's a savory preparation, there's a cheese for every dish. I love it. We covered a lot here. Where can we go for more information? So for more recipes, more inspiration, and my favorite cheesemaker stories, you can go to wisconsincheese.com. And remember, always look for the Proudly Wisconsin label. All right, we'll do it. Chef Karen Akunowitz, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me, Pete. I appreciate it.